Today, President Trump egged on protesters in three states who are defying restrictions and demanding an end to stay-at-home orders. But each of those states is following guidelines from the president's own task force. And tonight, the governor of Washington state says the president may be inciting violence. Ben Tracy is at the White House tonight. Ben? Nora, just 24 hours ago, President Trump said governors would call the shots when it comes to reopening their states and that he would support them. Well, the president is already breaking that promise. Protesters calling themselves Liberate Minnesota demanded Governor Tim Walz lift the state's stay-at-home order, despite a still rising number of COVID cases. Protesters in several states now have a powerful advocate, President Trump, who sent a series of tweets this morning to Liberate Minnesota, Michigan, and Virginia. Okay, that's... this is crazy. Okay, so... These people are protesting Trump's stay-at-home order, as well as their governor's stay-at-home order. Uh, and Trump is in support of people protesting him because he thinks it's going to go against their governor, probably. And then what about Save the Second Amendment? How is it under siege? Because... People are told to stay inside because there's a sickness going around that's killing people. Okay, 35,000 people have died. And these people are like, uh, the government's trying to take our rights away. No, that's not even what's going. But these people are, these people are really stupid. And they're going to cause uh, more uh, spikes uh, of outbreaks to happen because... They're being dumb, but I mean, I guess if it uh, ends up killing the stupid, it may end up uh, bettering our society. All states with popular Democratic governors. If, if I thought we could go back to work tomorrow, that's that's exactly what we would do. Lifting stay-at-home orders in any of these states would violate the president's own guidelines unveiled yesterday. Mr. Trump was asked if protesters should listen to him or their governors. I think they're listening. I think they listen to me. Uh, they seem to be protesters that like me and respect this opinion. Okay, they didn't ask, do the protesters like you? They asked, who should the protesters listen to? You or the governor? You know, you can't you can't ask Trump a question without without it being about how people see him or how amazing he is. It's Trump is all about his own ego and stroking his own ego. So no matter what, he's going to stroke his own ego. Basically, he's just jerking off all the time. Today, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo accused the president of shifting the burden of testing to states without providing resources to do it. The state should this, the state should this, the state should this. Yes. Well, what support have you given the states? None. Which is correct, because all uh, Trump has done is tell the states uh, that the supplies that the federal government has is for the United States. Which he doesn't realize that the United States is made up of the states, and those states are made up of people, and those people are dying. And um, he, it, it's our our system has been set up so that the federal government is giving private businesses supplies, and then those businesses are selling those supplies. So they're favoring. Uh, private businesses and stuff to get get various supplies that are needed for the people so that those uh, people so those private businesses can sell them and make profit off of desperate people in, in a pandemic this is this shows how horrid capitalism is because it's always about the profits over people this is one reason why Trump wants to reopen the economy so soon because he's afraid of losing out 
on money, as well as his friends losing out on money. So they're willing to allow people to die so that they can keep making money. The president, apparently watching Cuomo on TV, fired back on Twitter saying Cuomo should spend more time doing and less time complaining. If he's sitting home watching TV, maybe he should get up and go to work, right? That's funny, because that is so correct. Uh, Trump is so known for just doing nothing and watching TV that we can easily be like, yeah, you should probably actually do some work. Because Trump is lazy, um, it, which is funny because he compla- uh, He said if he was going to become president, he's going to not golf like Tr- uh, Obama did and just work, 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 work. And lo and behold, that was, that was uh, another one of his lies. Vice President Mike Pence had a testy conference call with Senate Democrats today. He was asked why the president is sending out these tweets about liberating states, but did not have an answer. We've also learned that Trump... Wait, why would you expect Pence to have an answer to why Trump is crazy? And he's not in the same crazy as Pence. Pence is religious crazy. Trump is just straight up egotistical crazy. Trump campaign is planning to restart holding their campaign rallies because they believe coronavirus will pass. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, so Trump is going to start holding his rallies. There's going to be a bunch of people infected with the coronavirus. Then all his supporters will end up getting uh, corona and a lot of them will probably die. And hopefully that will weaken the Trump base so that he doesn't get re-elected.